All right, we got some free time. Maybe we'll head over to the shooting range while, while, while I tell my story. So, I actually forgot I did. Oh, I didn't forget. I knew I told. I just didn't know where I had told it. I had told it. You guys were saying in the closet confession. I think I told it on Daily Dose too. But so basically, I didn't even know I had the warrant. But your boy didn't know I had a warrant. I just got pulled over. I think because I ran a stop sign. Dude pulls me up over. Is like, yo, you got to get about, man. Like, first he gave me, you know, license registration. He was in the back doing what he do. He came back to the car. Was like, yo, you got to get out. I'm like, I got to get out. He says, yeah, man, you got a warrant for your arrest. <gasps> Shoot. That was my butthole puckering. Shoot. Like, whoa, what, what do you mean? And, and I've never been like a the white man trying to keep me down kind of guy. That's all that was going through my head. Like, bro, what do I do? I ain't do no crime. So why I'm about to do time, you know? Good thing it was right by my crib that I got pulled over. So they actually went, drove to my house. Me and my, me and my wife, where she was my girlfriend at the time, were living with my mom. So they came all scared to the car. I'm in handcuffs in the back of the car. On the walker, pay attention to fights. Okay, yeah, I just got to observe. I got it. Yeah, long story short, some of y'all were off, though. I ain't leave in the morning. Your boy did, like, a full 24 hours in there. And long story short, it was because I had a warrant out. My license got suspended. Not a warrant, because I had a speeding ticket that I didn't pay. I guess, like, I went to court for it. I didn't have insurance, too, I think, when I got pulled over. So I got the insurance. I thought the ticket was just like, kind of like dropped, but apparently there was some small I had to pay, so I didn't pay it, ended up getting locked up, but in the morning, I'm pretty sure it was a Friday, or it happened on a Thursday night, Thursday evening around like, I just got off of work, so like 6, 7, and it was actually a really good day at work, I had a random guy come over, or come by a street hit I was working, and he like... He has some really crazy things to say about my future, and he's actually right. So it was like some real prophetic, like crazy stuff. So I was happy off of that on my way home, get pulled over. And I experienced like a bunch of the different parts of jail, man. Like I was in like the downtown holding cell. It was like a little small one with bars. I was in there with crazy looking people, like drunks and one it didn't like it seemed like it was just the place they put you before they figured out where you was going and then they transfer so i got to get in so then i got shackled with everyone in there and we hopped in a van and that drove us to like the big jail and then while i was there i went into like the big holding thing so it's like a big i don't even know how to describe it it's just a big cold room that you can sit in and that's before, oh, before they do the thing they just did with me where I approve the guy and let him in. So before they like put you on a block, you're sitting in, oh, who started a fire? I forgot where I was at, but yeah, then I got in there. Oh, then I got my first meal. This is probably like 1 a.m. at this point. You know, I probably got arrested at like six. It took a while. I was waiting at the first place then I waited in the second place. Then I got into like the big area where like all the cells were. It looks how it probably looks in the movies and then they gave us a, a, a I think they the first meal I had was like a sandwich they gave us like a bologna sandwich I went to open the sandwich and the middle of the sandwich was stuck together like it just the bologna bread it was now I don't even eat like white bread I need wheat bread so I I didn't even fluff with that then we had breakfast in the morning it was pancakes some some else. I went to pick one of the pancakes up. It's the middle of the pancake stuck to the tray. I ain't really eat much of that. I hope I'm not being a bad guard during this story time. There's no fighting. Uh oh, uh oh, it's going down. It's going down. Oh, 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 fight back. Fight back. It's not even fair. Okay. Nah, let him fight. Oh, I think that's racist, bro. You just gonna let the black guy go? Dang, that was like, that was racist. Are they about to fight again? He still got the gloves up. Now I think I need to discipline you. Yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't fight over here. Oh, this was Flam. <laughs> 
Flair, what you starting fights for, man? Don't even try it. Don't what? Oh heck nah. Heck nah. Heck nah. Flam. Flam, don't do it. Don't mm, boy. Boy, you thought. Boy, you thought. Boy, you thought. So yeah, I spent time in the cell. I they had like little Bibles you can grab, so I was reading the Bible most of the time. And then here's what I, I didn't see anyone catch in the comments. I had court in the morning. And it was good I got locked up. I'm pretty sure someone told me it was good that it was a Friday that I have that I got locked up because if it had been on the weekend I wouldn't have saw a judge till Monday so I went I saw a judge my mom I think my brother went I think my mom and my wife were like scared to go or something but my brother went so I like got hauled into court with like other like chained to other people I had to stand in front of the judge judge was a dirt bag she was like basically she was being a, a witch about me being in there and that I, I should have paid the stuff and I didn't even know I had to pay it. She was talking to me like I was an ish. And like I was just a black, worthless thug. Just she probably the most disrespected I'd never been talked to. But yeah, I went to court and then I came back. But it was like the hangout spot. Like jail is bad people don't go to jail i'm not saying that but honestly it wasn't that bad i saw so many people i knew from like hooping and playing basketball i had just been at a, at a i was working at a radio station i had just been at a job and like the guy that owned the store or whatever that paid for us to be there was in jail like i knew so many people it was like yo so I didn't feel like threatened. I had people to hang out with. Like you know, like when you would go to church and they'd have those overnight like sleepover things. It kind of felt like that, man. It wasn't like scary or nothing. Ooh. No one tried. I didn't take any showers. I wasn't afraid to drop the soap. Probably because they know I'm a motherfucking gangster. Ain't no one mess with me. But yeah, that's my story, man. If I I might have left out some details. That's why you gotta check out the series Closet Confessions. You'll get more. <laughs>